Okay, now that the wall, the heat shield is installed, and I have the, um, the pad that the stove sits on, all my clearances are met. Next thing I'm gonna do is install this flue pipe. Now, this I'm going with metal fab. This piece is just mocked up right now. Um, I'm going ahead right now and laying out for the ceiling support box. Now, rather than your typical regular ceiling support box that mounts to the joist, I decided that since I have open rafters, I went with cathedral ceiling support box. So I have it sitting over here. This is the um, flashing for the top. But this ceiling support box is gonna go through the roof and I'll cut it at an angle, whatever height I choose. Um, so it's gonna stick, this is gonna stick below my roof about five or six inches on the low side and it's gonna cut up. Doesn't really matter, but I think having the ceiling support box, the, the cathedral ceiling support box is gonna be a better look ultimately for this little workshop that I got. See, I went with metal fab. The place I got it from, I ordered it up from dynamitebuys.com. Believe it or not, it has a funny name. I believe they're changing the names over to some something wood stove or something, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put a link somewhere. I got a half price of what my local wood dealer quoted me. They quoted me 1250 bucks at the local sew shop for all the pieces here. I, I found them online. I ended up getting it shipped to my house. Um, out the door, 650 bucks. That's almost half off. Laying this out here, kind of mocking it up. I have, I did a hole up here as you can see. Not a hole, I did a square for the layout for the hole. And um, this meets all my clearances. So I am sure one piece that goes above this elbow, it's a 18 inch telescoping double wall piece by Metal Fab. The local stove shop actually has it in stock. 120 bucks out the door, where if I would have ordered online, it would have been 50 bucks. So first thing I'm gonna do, it's supposed to rain in a couple days, but I'm going to get my chimney installed. Here's one of the pieces here, and here's the, um, the guard. What's this thing called? The spark guard. And here's the chimney pipe itself. This is a really good um, class A chimney pipe. To match the rest of the um, garage, everything on the roof is galvanized. So I went with a galvanized casing rather than a stainless steel. This is stainless steel up here because it's going to have all the creosote sticking to it. I have a couple hours, probably about four or five hours before it's dark out. So goal is to get the chimney done. Let's get the holes cut out. So now that it's cut out, it looks something like this. Box goes through, it's pretty tight. Let's go see how it looks down below. So I just grabbed the box that one of the um, chimney pieces came in and I wedged that between the ceiling support. I just want to double check some of my measurements. I'll have to position it a little bit better. Okay, it's kind of funky, but it's gonna fill in. Um, but I'm trying to get this next shingle down. Also, I'm trying to get this to slip underneath the paper. All right, so I have the piece cut and sort of sitting in place. What I'm gonna do is temporarily attach it to the sheeting itself. You can see I have some of the blocking already cut. Um, I'll get a couple pieces in there, and I'll go down and level it up. All right, you can kind of get an idea of how it's gonna look. So, there's the blocking piece. I'll check the bottom for level, and make adjustments as needed. All right, so I got it in pretty level. Took the hammer, and I pounded this side over. 
Uh, I suppose I probably could have did it to all of it. Um, I am going to go inside and reinforce it. Before I do that though, I'll grab a chimney piece and see how plumb that is. Alright, I'm up here. Put the first piece on. Plumb in. I'll put the other side now. And then I'll probably go ahead and cut some little side pieces too, no big deal. Okay, I got it. So I had to angle these pieces. Um, I'm not going to bother going into too much detail about that. It doesn't really matter. Got a piece back here. So now I'll go up there, triple check that it's plumb, because I've already double checked, and then I'll do my final screw off into the block thing that I just put. Once that's in, then I'll um, put the fashion in. All right, so check out what I did. You'll see that I screwed it off. Um, three on each side. You can see this this piece of shingle is lifted up. I went underneath here with the pry bar earlier. Got up all the staples and nails that were underneath here. Um, so I ended up having to remove this piece here so I could get it through. But I wanted to have I wanted to have the flashing as far under as I could instead of having a stop here. I just think it's ugly. I don't want to see that much flashing. Okay, so I just nicked out these little pieces that were here. That way the water could just drain right off. I put a couple screws. Here's one here. Here's another one under here. Here's one way up there. One up here. And one underneath these. So I guess three per side, left and right. And then on the top. That um, tar was pretty nasty stuff. I ended up putting gloves on. I should have did it in the first place. I'll probably pick up another tube and um, fill back in here a little bit better. Five bucks a tube. It's like 108R. Uh, I have the storm collar to still put on right now. I'm just gonna use 100% silicone. Yeah, baby, home free. I like it a lot. Here it is complete. Um, instead for the bracing I'm gonna add later and some more tar that I'm gonna add later. But storm collar's in. It's not a big deal. Alright, so I got the piece of trim on here. I just put one screw in the center, front and back. Okay, so I'm waiting for one last piece. It's coming right now. I should have it in about 10 minutes. Looks like all my measurements worked out. That's exactly plumb. And this way's plumb. Pretty cool. Yep. So, probably took me four hours to get the chimney in. It's 5.30. I started this project at noon. I've been kind of messing around. I got it. Here's the 18 inch piece I got here. And I um, plumbed it up. Goes up really nice and straight. Very clean. More than six inches clear. Because I'm gonna light it up.